Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Bree. I love to go thrifting, garage sailing, junking. I take those finds and upcycle them into beautiful home decor. Now you can see it's super rainy in Kansas today, so I thought it would be the perfect time to jump into the Summer Cloche Challenge. It's hosted by Nicole Northgarden and the two vintage sisters. I'm going to link their channel as well as a playlist full of a ton of creative people down in my description box below. When you're done here, go check out their videos as well. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn that little notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. I have a ton of ideas, so we should probably go get started. I pulled a few items from my stash. This was the perfect challenge. Look at these beautiful options I have to make some amazing cloche displays. First up, I grabbed a piece of scrap wood that had a little bit of a ding in it. I couldn't use it for much else. And I'm going to use my larger dome to trace a circle to make a base for my smaller dome. We head down to the garage. I'm going to clamp this wood and use my jigsaw to cut out my circle. If you are using power tools, make sure you're wearing your protective equipment. I used my orbital sander and 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the surface. On a couple spots I did purposely sand a little bit lower because I am going to give this a rustic finish. This part is super fun. I'm going to use a couple tools and beat this wood up a little bit, make it look like it has some age. I hit it one more time with a little 220 grit sandpaper to make sure nobody will get splinters when they pick it up. Now that our wood is ready, I'm going to use a Sweet Pickens hemp oil. This is a sealer. It is all natural, food safe, and you can use it over your milk paint or natural wood. We are going to seal this up. It'll be a food safe platter. Somebody could use it for decor or they could also use it for food as well. I'm applying the hemp oil with a chip brush. I will then let it sit for five to 25 minutes, depending on how dry your wood is. This is soaking it up very fast. And then I will use a lint-free rag and wipe off the excess oil. If needed, you can do a few coats. You'll wanna let it dry a couple of hours in between and you'll want to let it dry overnight before you use it. It brings out the grain of this wood and all of that distressing. I knew this would be the perfect little cloche to fit into my cottage core vibe. I have been obsessed with the cottage feel this summer. I'm bringing in elements from outdoors such as greenery and natural wood and then also items that bring back memories like kitchen items and old quilts so that's really what cottage core is for me and i think this sweet cloche fits in just perfectly it is available on my website upcycledbybree.com for $24.95 I brought in some fresh peonies and impatience and I staged them up inside of this beautiful farmhouse cloche. I also have an adorable vintage duck and a couple of milk glass jars. So you see, you can put anything inside of a cloche to make it beautiful. This cloche is also available on my site. On the next cloche, I took the top off of the glass pedestal and decided I wanted to try it in my beautiful stoneware bowls. This collection will stay here on my island. I placed a copper teapot inside of the stoneware bowl with some of the moss rocks from Dollar Tree.
I wanted to show you just a few more of the cloche displays I already have in my house. They are all pretty unique. Don't forget to check the description box below and go check out all the other amazing creators that have joined the Summer Cloche Challenge. Thank you, Nicole, and to the two vintage sisters for hosting this challenge. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and if you like these videos, check out all of my other amazing content. I will see y'all Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time for a live right here on my channel. I am going to fix my milk paint mess up. Until later, I will see you then. Bye, friends.